Monster. 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 What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling. I've been doing a lot of urban fishing. That's not gonna be the case today. I just got done hiking in to this lake. It's like 7,600 feet of elevation. Absolutely gorgeous out here. I actually thought that I was gonna have to hike quite a bit further than I did, but luckily there was a road that was open. It's so beautiful out here. I could catch probably zero fish and it's gonna be a nine out of 10 day. To make it a 10 out of 10, I'd like to catch at least one trout so I can eat it for lunch. And hopefully we can catch at least two species. This place is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful day. Let's go catch something. All right guys, so this is definitely an area that looks like you'd want to fly fish. My fly fishing abilities are not YouTube ready. I've been practicing. It has not been going well. So if you're like me and you suck at fly fishing, this is a kind of a cheat way to use a spinning combo and still fly fish. I've just got a weighted bobber and then I'm going to start out with this little, this is called a zebra midge. It's just a real tiny fly. And with that weighted bobber, it allows you to actually cast out still, even though you've got just the tiniest little fly. This area is pretty shallow, but I'm still going to try and fish over here. And then I might work my way. Well, I'm definitely going to work my way that way towards the dam. I saw water, walked straight here. I walked through a bunch of <laughs> timber and everything to get in here. So let's hope that these fish are hungry today. I don't even know why I'm whispering. It just feels like I should be. This place is so gorgeous up here. I'm gonna cast just right here on the back side of this rock. Kind of a big splash, oops. That's what you do. Oh my gosh, that was immediate. I can't believe I messed that up. I just had a bite immediately. I thought that big splash was gonna scare him off. That is a great sign. That was cast number two. What? I can't believe I messed that up. And I think I put a knot on the line. There we go. That was cast number two, basically the second it hit the water on this little zebra midge. Okay, come on. Holy cow, that was quick. I cannot believe that. I think I might have set the hook too hard. I got a little excited. These hooks are so tiny. I don't know much about fly fishing, but I feel like with these little hooks, it'd be really easy to rip out of the fish's mouth. Let's see, come on. Oh, fish, I missed him again. <laughs> oh my goodness, I missed him again. I keep setting the hook too hard, I think. So this time I'm just gonna start reeling. These hooks are so little that to get those points buried in their lip, I bet it doesn't take much. There's a muskrat or something out there. Yeah, it looks like a muskrat. Oh gosh. See, the bobber's under it and I'm setting the hook and they're not even there at all. What is going on? How am I missing that many fish? Like what? Is the hook sharp? Yeah, super sharp. I think I'm gonna move. I'm just gonna chalk this spot up to good luck for bites, bad luck for hook setting. I'm gonna go find a different area. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay. So yeah, I just came a little bit down towards the dam. It looks like there's some more depth here. I'm gonna hide behind this tree. 
I'm gonna try and just cast out not very far. Maybe you guys can see the bobber. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see if there's not just a trout right in there. Come on. I'm gonna be quick on the trigger. When he hits it, I am setting the hook. Got him! I've actually got a fish. I have a fish. I have a fish. I have a fish. Yes! <laughs> what is it? I actually caught a fish. Oh my gosh. It's a brook trout. It's a brook trout. I'm gonna get my hand wet because I don't think I'm gonna keep him. Calm down, bud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, look. In the nose whoa right in the nose like it should be look at him oh my goodness that thing's gorgeous too pretty to eat i'm not keeping him get back in the water bud finally i hooked up on something oh my goodness oh goodness i got he smacked it for a second <laughs> He hit it. Oh, he hit it again. I need to get my line tight. That must just be what they're doing. They're just hitting it and spitting it so quick. Maybe. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. They feel the resistance from that bobber and they just spit it out. I'm trying to think. I could put a weight under the bobber like right under it, and then it'll make that bobber a little less buoyant. I think I'm gonna try that actually. Let's try that, because they're spitting it so quick. That's the only thing I can think of, is that they're feeling this bobber. So I'm gonna put a weight under the bobber, so then it'll just be easier to take this bobber down. So let's see what happens with just one. A lot easier to cast too. Now let's see if that helps. I'm gonna come back over here. Let's cast right out there. That's a bigger kerplunk, that's for sure. But I just wanna see if it helps with my hookups. Maybe they'll just hold on to it longer. Got him. I don't know if that's telling or not, but I I got him. First one since I put that weight right under that bobber. Another brook trout. Same size. I'm putting him back. Awesome. Again, right in that top lip. Another gorgeous looking trout gorgeous all right let's let's do this again let's see if that worked it's gonna be crazy if that's what it is they just kept feeling the bobber maybe they'd pull it down and spit it right out i'm thinking is what was happening this might just give me one extra second before they know that it's not a midge that they just ate or a bug landed two fish both brook trout now those things are so gorgeous. I don't know if I want to eat one. I was thinking I'd probably catch a rainbow. If I keep catching brook trout after brook trout, I will be keeping one because I would love to start a fire up here and cook up a trout. I'd love to catch another species too. That's what I said at the beginning of the video. To make it a 10 out of 10 day, two species of trout have trout for lunch. Oh my goodness, that was it. That's the problem. I put that hook under the bobber. Sorry, bud, here, let me, I got this net for a reason. That was the problem. They were feeling that bobber and they were letting go of it. 
can't believe that. At least I figured it out. He's a real tiny one. He doesn't even have red dots on him. At least I figured out why I was missing so many fish. They were just letting go of it. There's too much buoyancy in this tiny, tiny little bobber. I was wondering what I was doing wrong. I was like, am I setting the hook too hard? Too soft? Not quick enough? It was not quick enough, but there was no way to beat it because the second that bobber went down, they felt that resistance and they just spit it out right away. Look at this. I'm hooking up like crazy now. That was the difference. What is this? This is a little bit bigger. Oh. Now I'm hooking them left and right. I cannot believe that. That was the problem. Thank goodness I figured that out. I would have been driven mad. Look at how gorgeous that trout is. Absolutely gorgeous. Yellow, red little dots with like blue around them, little blue halos. Just gorgeous. I cannot believe I've caught three fish back to back to back just because I put that little weight on my bobber. Isn't that crazy? Just a tiny tweak. Insane. I'm gonna move down a little bit. I'm gonna work this dam right here and then I'm probably gonna switch back to the midge if I don't start catching them pretty quick just because that midge seemed to be working so well. All right, let's cast down here. They like it real, oh, this is a big one. This is a keeper. This is a keeper. This is a keeper. This is a different kind of fish. What is this? What is this? Yes! What is this? What is this? I think it might be lunch, whatever it is. Oh my goodness. Two kinds of trout. That one smoked it. I was just reeling it straight in. I think, yeah, tiger trout. Tiger trout. I have never caught a tiger trout before. Look at this thing. Is that lunch? I'm trying to think. I'd say it's like perfect. I'm trying to think, trying to think. Yeah, I'm eating him. I am going to make lunch. Honestly, right now. Let's go eat some lunch. I'm on my walk over to where I'm going to look for a lunch spot and I've got to make a couple casts. Have to. Oh my gosh, that was sick. That fish just came up and hit right at the end. I hope you guys saw that. It was probably pretty small for you guys. They like this worm coming in hot. I'm going to let it sink just a little bit. They like this worm coming in hot. I'm jerking it, reeling it fast. Oh my gosh. Guys, that's a big trout, I think. Bigger than the one that I've got in my net right now. Come on, come on. Hit this thing like you're supposed to. One more cast and we're going for lunch. Last cast. Got him. What is this? What is he? A rainbow trout. Or wait. Rainbow. I would have much rather ate this dude. But we've already got this one in the net. Three species of fish. 
right guys well i'm gonna start a fire right here because it's right next to the water in gravel and dirt and there's a whole bunch of stuff that i can start a fire with so i'm gonna cook lunch right here and then i'm gonna get back to catching some trout because they were biting hopefully i don't regret eating lunch instead of fishing right now but i'm hungry <laughs> Got the fire going, got the pan heating up. I'm gonna put some butter flavored Crisco in here. You can just use butter. I just like butter flavored Crisco. Lemon pepper seasoning. All right, check him out. He's gonna be perfect for one taco. His meat looks really orange. I don't know if that's like I don't really know what that means. If it's good or bad, it's orange. All right, I bet this is hot enough. I think I'm just gonna drop them right in. Oh yeah, it's hot enough. Didn't bring a fork, so. I'll wash this off and this will just have to do. Oh yeah. This will make a good taco. It does not get much better than this. This is so amazing. Oh my goodness, that is incredibly hot. See if we can pick them up with my chopsticks. Oh yeah, Whew. a little smoky, but that trout looks cooked to perfection. I'm gonna Honestly, I'm going to get this pan out of the fire because it's so incredibly hot. I'm going to get some cheese put on this. I like my cheese. Okay, let's go just like this. That is going to cook up in no time, guaranteed. Ooh, nice and toasty. Let's get this off. Actually, you know what? I'm done with the fire, so I'm just gonna fill this up with water. We'll just put this out right now. That is a drowned fire. Oh yeah peeling off perfect this is gonna be plenty let's just take a bite just the trout trout with a little skin this was lemon pepper seasoning what's that taste like it is super good You can definitely taste the lemon pepper seasoning. I like that a lot. Let's get, let's get the Franks out because we cannot not use Franks. Oh, I'm not forgetting anything, am I? Cheese, trout, Franks. Nope. Oh, I forgot that it, oh, this tortilla is gonna be so good too. Let's do this. That is so good. Everything about it is delicious. Everything has its own touch. I personally love the cheese on it. It'd be good with just a regular tortilla, but frying the tortilla, it is 
key in my opinion. I'm gonna catch a big fish today. I just wanted to get some lunch in. So I'm kind of doing it in the middle of my fishing day rather than at the end. But I think we're gonna catch a nice one. I'm gonna finish this taco up, get this cleaned up real quick and we are going to catch a nice trout. We just finished up lunch. I'm gonna use this worm that we've been using right before lunch. Hopefully these fish are still hitting. I can just fish it so quickly. Rather than casting out a bobber and waiting for something to hit it, I can just see if there's any very hungry trout in the area with this thing, and I can just stay on the move. Right here on the other side of this rock is deep. That's crazy. Got him. Biggest trout so far. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes. Biggest trout so far, and it's a tiger trout. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> This is a nice one. Check him out. All right. A little bit bigger than the one that I ate for sure. That's the biggest one yet. All right. Snapped my picture. Let's get him out of this net. See ya. I'm still on my first night crawler too. I mean, it's starting to get beat up, but this pack was so cheap. I've never used these before. I will link these down below. If you're fishing a place that you can't use live bait, these are working amazing here, that's for sure. Monster, monster, monster. Oh my gosh, I got him. Oh, that was an overreaction. He's not an absolute monster, but he's a nice one. <laughs> oh my gosh, we keep catching bigger and bigger. Oh, what is this? I think it's another tiger. It doesn't have as distinct marks. Man, he's got some sharp teeth. If I would have lost him, this would have been a 30 inch fish. Actually, I want to measure him kind of. Nah. Oh yeah, I don't even have my tape measure. All right, I'm gonna try and hold this guy. This is definitely the biggest one of the day. So sick. So sick. I believe, yeah, that's a tiger trout. There's, okay, 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 bud. That was awesome. At the beginning of this video, I said a 10 out of 10 if I could catch two species of trout and eat trout for lunch. We've caught three species of trout, I ate trout for lunch, and now we're fishing again, catching bigger fish. This is better than 10 out of 10. Oh my goodness, they love this freaking worm. They love the worm. All right, guys, putting on a new worm. I'm pretty sure I showed them to you before, but just a perfect looking night crawler. These things are so cheap. And then I'm just using a tiny little barbless gold hook. Just covering up all the hook. I mean, that is it right there. And then about two feet, I've just got one little split shot just so I can cast it out. That's only my second, I've caught a bunch of fish on this worm now, and that's only my second one that I've used. They, the one I bought came in a four pack. Like I said, I will link it down below. I, I don't know why this wouldn't work for everything that likes worms. Bluegills, I know bass, because I use big night crawlers for bass, but this is killing trout. Look at that, coming through the water, just snapping like that, and just the tail kicks like crazy. 
These are the cheapest plastics I've ever bought. Like I'm moving it quick. And then I'm killing it. Move it quick again. Kill it, they've hit it both. They've hit it when I haven't killed it and they've hit it while I have killed it. So I'm just doing both interchangeably. Come on. Got him. Nice one. It's a nice one. Is this the biggest of the day? This might be the biggest of the day. Yes, got him. I don't know if that's the biggest of the day or not. He could be, he's, <laughs> yeah, he is. Biggest of the day. Hook's already out in the net. Oh my gosh, this day can't get better. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Yeah, this is the biggest of the day. I know I'm gonna drop them when I pull them out of here. Didn't realize that rain or that tiger trout sounded like catfish. No, that is definitely the biggest. He's got a big head. He's not super long. He just got a big head on him. Cut it out, bud. And that is like a full-blown tiger trout pattern. Look at that pattern. <laughs> he said, all right, you've looked long enough. <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. At the beginning of the video, I said I could get skunked and it would have been a 9 out of 10. That means today was a solid 12. I caught a ton of fish on the fly and on this plastic worm. That was so much fun. We caught some nice tiger trout. Just beautiful all the way around. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see some more videos like this, do not forget to subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more fishing like this. I'm going to be up in the mountains for at least the next month. Don't worry, all you crappie and walleye people, I'm going to be back in Iowa here in the next couple months as well. But again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.